Now at this point, I allow you to choose. Would you like the abridged tour or the full tour where I tell you about every single panel on this wall or I skip ahead? The full. The full so tour? I'm interested because I, I write patents. Yeah, full. You want the full one too? Well, it goes she, over this. She writes patents. Uh, yeah, you still do. Well, I don't work for my friend anymore, oh. but I, so I did stuff like this, but I never really understood oh, what wow. it's either okay, well, all the colors. So well, ahead. this is skipping several steps. Yeah. So this is this is the abridged version of the abridged version of the abridged version. But some of the key steps to building the microprocessor include photolithography, oh, where we use ultraviolet light to print the circuit patterns onto the silicon wafer. And how this works is this is that lens I was telling you about earlier. Uh, the entire diamond cut wafer, first of all cleaned to remove all traces of contamination, is then covered with a light sensitive material called photoresist. Now over the photoresist we put the mask for the first layer of circuitry and a lens that will reduce the size. Uh, of that mask. The ultraviolet light shines through the mask, through the lens, and then as you can see it is reduced down to the size of one microprocessor. Yeah. Now the, uh, yeah, this one won't tell you anything. The areas of the uh, photoresist that are covered by the mask are unaffected, but the light shines through the clear areas of the mask and exposes the photoresist, which makes it gooey, soluble. The gooey portion of the photoresist is then washed off. Now the next step I cover in this abridged version of the tour is over here. This is ion implantation. This is where we change the silicon, which is inherently an insulator, and make it into a conductor. So what happens is the ions are just, we bombard the entire surface of the wafer with the ions. Now. The photoresist protects certain parts of the wafer from the ions, but the exposed wafer is then embedded with the ions, and that makes the exposed silicon into a conductor. Once that is completed, the remaining photoresist is washed off, and now there is a conductive pattern, a very precise conductive pattern, on the surface of the silicon wafer. Wow. Now, multiple layers of high K dielectric material are placed on the entire surface of the wafer, and this is to basically protect the circuits. Uh, this makes for smaller, faster patterns of circuitry while reducing electrical leakage, specifically developed by Intel. Now another way they are able to um, apply the different materials is through a process called etching. When the uh, photoresist, the exposed photoresist is removed, there is a intricate pattern on the wafer. And according to the schematic, the recipe, if these, if these materials have to be removed through a process called etching using chemicals, they can be basically dissolved away, which leaves another intricate pattern. Now there are several steps between here and here. But uh, basically all of this is repeated for every single layer of circuitry. And there are 40 layers of circuitry on today's chips. But skipping ahead to the step that focuses on the individual transistor. For each microscopic transistor on a chip, three holes will be etched into the insulation layer. Okay. Uh, so underneath all these holes there is a transistor. The, uh, well, one transistor under three holes, I should say. Now, the entire surface of the wafer will be covered with copper or whatever material is required by the schematic until a thin layer forms across the entire surface of the wafer. The excess material will then be polished off so that we now have three perfectly filled holes mm. above each transistor. Now, these metal layers will provide, will form connections to each transistor, like a ramp on a multi-level highway. Now, uh, once the entire process is completed, again, skipping several steps to where it is completed, the entire wafer will be sent to an assembly test facility, where each individual chip will be tested for its functionality. Now, uh, chips with the same capabilities will be cut from a wafer into something we call dye, 
The die will then be sorted and put into a package. This is the Intel Core i7. This has three parts, the die, or in this case the dies, the substrate, and the heat spreader. The packaged processors will be tested one more time 